Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today I want to show you my favorite top 16 tips and tricks in Microsoft OneNote. Before we jump into this, there are two main versions of OneNote. There's OneNote for Windows 10 and this comes pre-installed on Windows 10 PCs. There's also OneNote that comes with Microsoft Office. Both of these are entirely free and I've included instructions in the description showing you how you can get either one. Some of these tips will work on OneNote one and not the other. Some of them will work on both and I'll call that out as we're going through this. All right, enough talk. Let's jump on the PC and let's check out these tips. Tip number one, did you know that you can copy text from pictures? This is only available in the version of OneNote that comes with Microsoft Office. Once again, you can get this for free. I've included steps in the description. This is also the version of OneNote that I personally use the most. To copy text from pictures, well, first off, bring a picture into your OneNote file. Here's a image of the Kevin Cookie Company and it's a franchise agreement. Now you can see here when I click on the image, I can't select any of the text because it's an image that I pasted into my OneNote. Luckily, I can extract the text. I simply right click on the image and then there's an option here that says copy text from picture. So it's gonna use OCR to extract all of the text from this image. Let's click on copy text from picture. Now I'm gonna go right down underneath the image and now I'm gonna press Control V to paste the text and here you see all of the text from above was extracted and pasted into the OneNote. Tip number two, Microsoft OneNote makes it really easy to consume content using the immersive reader. It improves the reading experience and then also you could have OneNote read to you. This is something that's only available on the OneNote for Windows 10 app. Once again, this is the app that comes pre-installed with Windows 10. To use the Immersive Reader, let's go up to the toolbar on top and select View. Within the View ribbon, let's click on Immersive Reader. This opens up my text and first off, it removes all of the distractions around the text. It increases the font size and the spacings a lot better. It makes it a lot easier to read the content. Up above, I could change my text preferences. I could highlight different parts of the speech and here I could have OneNote even help me focus on each individual line. One of my favorite features though is OneNote can read to me. Down on the bottom we see a play button and next to that we see some voice settings. Before we play, let's click into the voice settings. Here I can set the voice speed and I can also choose whether it's a female or a male voice. Let's listen to the male voice and see how this sounds. Cookies from the Kevin Cookie Company have been highly rated independently in a variety of top rated and highly authentic restaurant publications, including Kevin Home Cooking, Stratford Family Eats, and the KCC Monthly. Buy some cookies today and enjoy the best cookies ever made. Wow, you really believe that when it comes from an authentic sounding voice like this. We'll have to use this voice in some of our commercials. Tip number three, you can create sticky notes in the OneNote mobile app and have them automatically synchronize and show up on Windows 10. First off, you need to get the OneNote app. You can get that through the App Store or the Play Store. It's free to download and install. Once you have the OneNote app open, in the bottom right hand corner, there's an option for sticky notes. Let's click on that. Now, I don't have any sticky notes yet, so let's click on the plus button to add a sticky note. For my first sticky note, I'm going to type in bake cookies tonight and once I'm all done, I'm going to click on done in the top right hand corner. Along with typing text, I could also insert a photo. I could change the color of this sticky note so I could customize it. On Windows 10, let's go down to our taskbar and let's type in sticky notes. This is an app that comes pre-installed and comes with Windows 10. Let's click on sticky notes. This launches the Sticky Notes app and here I see my note that says bake cookies tonight. When I click on this, this also gives me just a traditional sticky note. So this is a very nice way if you wanna add sticky notes on the go and then get them onto your Windows 10 PC and vice versa. You could also add sticky notes here and then they'll show up in your OneNote app. 
Tip number four, I could have Microsoft OneNote help me write meeting notes. This is really handy because I've agreed to take notes for a meeting that's taking place tonight. This is something that's available in both versions of OneNote and you need to be using Microsoft Outlook to be able to take advantage of this. To insert meeting details, let's go up to the Home tab. This opens up the Home ribbon and all the way on the right hand side, we see an option for meeting details. Let's click on this. This opens up a menu with with all of my meetings coming up later today. I have one meeting coming up later today where I've agreed to take the notes. If the meeting's coming up on another day and maybe I wanna really be on top of things, I can also choose a meeting from another day. I'm going to select the meeting right here. This inserts all of my meeting details. Here I see the subject, the date, the location. If I wanna jump into the calendar item, I can click on this hyperlink, and here I could expand to see the meeting details, and I have my participant list down below. Once the meeting takes place, I can start typing in my notes here. Tip number five, you can very easily take tasks from your Microsoft OneNote and you could add it to your Microsoft to do task list. Right here, I just wrapped up the meeting and one of my follow-ups is I need to send my thoughts and my notes on the taste profile of the new cookies that I sampled. I simply click over on the left of the text and there's my cursor. Once again, I go up to the home tab and over on the right hand side, there's an option for Outlook tasks. Let's click on that. This opens up a menu and I can now choose when the task is due. I'll probably follow up by tomorrow. I'm gonna select the option that says tomorrow. Once I click on tomorrow, this adds a flag next to this item within my OneNote and this will now be synchronized over to Microsoft To Do and then also tasks within Outlook. Here I am now in my browser and I went to todo.microsoft.com where I can see my task list and here I see a task that I just added from OneNote. So it synchronizes in both places. And here I am in Microsoft Outlook where I can see that same task in my task list synchronized over from OneNote. This functionality is only available in the version of OneNote that comes with Microsoft Office. Tip number six, I wanna show you how you could tag items in your OneNote to help you get back to them more easily in the future. And this is something that's available in all versions of OneNote. Down here, I had an insight from this meeting and I found that adding extra butter and sugar contribute to a much better flavor. I wanna make sure I remember this and I could come back to it in the future. And I think a tag can help me with this. Up above, let's click into the home ribbon. And here in the middle, I see all these different tag options. I could expand the list and there are all of these pre-created tags. In fact, I could even add my own tags. Now this was a pretty important insight. I'm going to select the important tag. Once I add the tag over on the left-hand side, I see that it added an important marker next to this item. If I wanna get back to this tag in the future, right up above in the same area, I can click on find tags. Let's click on this. This now opens up a pane over on the right hand side and here I see a summary of all of my important tags so this makes it easy to get back to this. I also see other tags that were used in the document such as who was in attendance in my various meetings and I even see a category for tasks or dates that items are due. Up above, there are different ways I can group my tags. Right now, they're grouped by tag, but I could group them by section of my OneNote, by title, date, and note text. So there are many ways I can get back to the content that's important to me. I now wanna share these notes with the other participants so they can see this too. Luckily, OneNote makes it very easy to collaborate with others, and that brings me to tip number seven. Over on the right-hand side, if I wanna share this page with others, I can simply right-click on this and there's an option to copy a link to this page. Not only are you limited to copying pages, you can also copy sections. Right up here, I can right-click, and here too, I could copy a link to the entire section. Within Outlook now, I could simply go in and paste a link to the meeting notes, and then both Adele and Emily can click on this and they'll be able to see my OneNote and then also work on my OneNote with me. 
Tip number eight, and this is something that's available in both versions of OneNote. You can very easily password protect a section of a OneNote. I have a section up above called Top Secret Recipe for the Kevin Cookie Company. I wouldn't want anyone to be able to see this because this is our trade secret. I can write, oh, you can see it in the background. Please don't pay attention to the text in back. When I right click on this section, I have the option to password protect this section. Let's click on this. This opens up a pane over on the right hand side and I can set a password for this section. Let's click on this and I'll type in a password. I've now typed in a password and OneNote shows me a warning. If you forget this password, you won't be able to get back your data. So be very careful and make sure you remember your password. Once you're all set, let's click on OK. I've now set a password on this section and I don't want all of you to be looking at this anymore because once again, this is confidential information. I can now lock this section of my OneNote. Over on the right hand side, it says you can lock all sections now by pressing Control, Alt, and L. So let's press all of those together. It's now locked this section of my OneNote. Here it says if I wanna access it, I simply press on the Enter key. And when I press on Enter, it'll prompt me for my password. I'll quickly type it in just to show how it works. And once again, don't look at the secret recipe. Tip number nine, you can very easily convert handwriting into text that you can then edit on your computer. This works in both versions of the OneNote app. How do we do this? It's extremely simple. Let's go up to the top toolbar and click on draw. And over on the far right hand side, there's an option to turn ink to text. Let's click on that and see what happens. Check that out, that just converted my text into editable text on my computer. I could select it, I could edit it, and here it is. Tip number 10, did you know that you can set it so your OneNote window always appears as the topmost window? Especially when you're taking notes, you might have multiple windows open, like here I have Word, and then maybe I open up Wikipedia, and my note canvas within OneNote falls to the back. It would be nice to keep it always on top, and tip number 10 is keep it on top. Within OneNote, let's click over onto View, and over on the far right-hand side of the ribbon, there's the option to always keep OneNote on top. When I select this, I could click on my browser window or other content and my note canvas will stay on top. This brings us to tip number 11, which builds on always on top. Tip number 11 is available in both apps. Number 10, always on top, is only available in the OneNote app that comes with Microsoft Office. Tip number 11, you can convert your OneNote into full screen mode to help you with note taking. Right up here in the top right hand corner of the canvas, there's the full page view. When I click on this, this gets rid of the ribbon and all the chrome of OneNote so I only see the canvas. Together with stay on top, this is a pretty nice way to take notes on my PC. Tip number 12, you can very easily translate text in OneNote and this is available in both versions of OneNote. We've recently opened a Kevin Cookie Company location in Frankfurt, Germany, and we're pulling together a press release. I would like to localize this text into German. First, let's select all of this text. To access Translate, let's go up to the top bar on top and go over to Review. Right here in the middle of the Review ribbon, there is the option to Translate. Let's click on this. This opens up a menu and I have two options to translate. I could translate the selected text and I could open up a mini translator. Let's start with Translate Selected Text. This opens up a pane on the right hand side with the translator. First off, I could choose what language it starts in and what language I want to translate too. I want to translate this to German. Down below, I can see the translation in German. I have two options. I could insert it as is, and this will replace the English text that I have over here. Alternatively, I can just copy it. For now, let's copy it. Now that I have it copied, I can paste the German text down below. The translation looks pretty decent to me. Next, I want to show you how you can use the mini translator. Once again, let's go up to review on the bar on top and then within the review ribbon, click on translate and then let's activate the mini translator. The mini translator is now activated. When I hover over a word, you'll see a text box appear over here and when I move my mouse over it, it'll show me the translation for this one specific word. Tip number 13, did you know you could access previous versions of a OneNote page 
especially if you're storing your OneNote in OneDrive or in SharePoint, and this is available in both versions of the app. Over on the right hand side, I see this page that I have for Translate, which was tip number 12 that we looked at. When I right click on this item, at the very bottom of the list, there's the option to show page versions. When I click on this, I see a previous version of this page where I just had the English text, and if I go to the current version, this version now has the German text. As you work on a page over time, you'll see more and more versions stored. So let's say you wanna go back to an earlier version. It's very easy to do that. Tip number 14, especially if you start taking a lot of notes, sometimes it's nice to have multiple instances of OneNote open. Here I have one copy of OneNote open, but maybe I want another one. It's easy to do that. Simply navigate down to your taskbar and right click on the OneNote icon, and then you can click on OneNote and this will open up another copy of OneNote. This too works with both versions of OneNote. Tip number 15, we can use OneNote to solve math equations. This is only available in OneNote for Windows 10. This is the version that comes pre-installed with Windows 10. My analyst team here at the Kevin Cookie Company has provided me with some information, but not everything for our new location in Germany. They told me that we expect to sell just shy of 454 million cookies, and they also informed me that we expect to sell about 5.4 cookies per capita. So so what is the population of Germany? Well, let's see if OneNote can figure this out for us. First off, let's highlight this equation. And next, let's go up to the top toolbar and let's click on draw. Within the drawing ribbon, all the way over on the right hand side, let's click on the option that says math. When I click on math, this shows me my equation over here. And down below, I have a drop down list where I can select an action. When I click on this, I can solve for x. When I click on this, this tells me that the population of Germany is about 84 million. What's really cool is down below there's another drop down menu. When I click on this, I can view the steps for solving this and here it walks me through step by step how I could solve this on my own. So let's say I don't have OneNote handy. Well, I could learn how to do it. So learn how to fish. Tip number 16, and this is the very last tip for today. This is available in the OneNote for Windows 10 app. You can dictate to OneNote and it'll type up everything you say. Let's click on home over on the top and then over on the far right hand side, there's the option to dictate. Let's click on this. Dictate is now active and I can start speaking. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Kevin Stratford YouTube channel and you'll get more videos like this. Once I'm done, let's click on dictate again and that'll turn off dictation. Here we can see the text and it looks like it did a pretty good job, although I will knock it a little bit. It didn't quite spell my last name correctly. All right, well that was a quick look at my favorite top 16 tips and tricks in Microsoft OneNote. If you learned some new tips, please give this video a thumbs up. If there are any other tips that you use that you would like others to know about, leave a comment down below. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a note down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.